Good morning, good evening, or middle of the night, or as may be the case in your time zone. This is a follow-up video. This mug was hit, but now this mug gets fit. Of course, it's not complete. I don't have the grill on. The original grill has openings that the safety Nazis would soil their drawers over because, God forbid, someone might be dumb enough to stick their fingers in the fan. Anyway, let's see this mug run. Now the blade is stuck on there, as is often the case with these really old fans. And I'm going to have to pull it off so I can get a proper grill on there. But I'm going to do something that will scare the snot out of Chicken Little and his tedious band of lawyers. Which is this. Oh my gosh. Run and hide. Danger, danger, danger. I love mocking dumb crap like that. All right, let's do the audio noise. What do you call the daggone symptom thing there? I'd say the uh, the audible airflow measure. Here it goes. Oh, I feel bad for your eardrums. But this fan is so strong. Let's see what it does with the shop towel. And no, I'm not going to throw it in there. That would be stupid. It would be funny, and it would make for a good video, but then I'd have to realign the blades again, which can be a tedious job, especially considering how bad this one was messed up. Looks like it did a face plant. Must have fell over, flat, face down. I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's running good now to the extent that you can take this towel stand it horizontal. Now show me a modern fan that can do that. Or even an old one that contraband fan hasn't worked on. Well, there may be one of those. Wow, what's that on the ceiling? How'd that get there? I'm gonna have to look into that. Well, let's see. Boy, this is a romping, stomping monster truck of electric fans then that's the only kind I appreciate, as you probably know. Let's check out the spin down time on this puppy. Reaching around it ever so cautiously because that blade could do some damage. It's coasting and it's still making quite a bit of racket on the audible flow meter. Look at that glide. By gosh, that's some American ingenuity. No new fan will be in any good kind of shape or exist at all by the time it's as old as this one is. Look at that pedestal. A little bit of elbow grease on that and it came clean. It's going to take some paint probably. But anyway, yeah, no brand name on this. Got the old washing machine style motor on it. You know what I'm talking about. It's one of those kind. Beautiful. Nearly indestructible. It's as if this thing had been drinking out of the fountain of youth. Anyway, just thought I'd take a minute to boast on my work. Sorry about that. But, yep, this mug's up and running. It'll have a grill on it soon. And then it will continue taking up space. Till I figure out what to do with it. Lucky it's going to be fan season in a few weeks. Probably find somebody who'd love to have it. I'll make a deal. Check back soon. Contraband fan over and out for now.